I suppose I had never seen a happier room. And there, in the corner, was the nicest little hearth you could ever hope for. Christmas is sort of special for everybody. And we have a very special show that I sincerely believe will heighten your Christmas. Now, as you all know, Charles Dickens' Christmas Carol is one of the most famous pieces in literature. But very few people know that Dickens wrote another beautiful rendering of Christmas called Cricket on the Hearth. As a matter of fact, I just found out about it myself. You never heard of the lucky cricket on the hearth? Well, it all started in merry old England a long time ago. Uh, here, lend an ear. One Christmas morning you may look into your stocking and find that something shocking has occurred. Among the candy canes and toys, you'll hear a funny little noise. You've got yourself a cricket on the heart. Cricket on the heart, take that horseshoe off your door. With a cricket on the heart, you can leave that rocky penny sitting on the floor. Cricket on the heart. Home at last. Well, Merry Christmas to you. Hmm. I suppose you're all wondering what me, a cricket, is doing here on Christmas Eve with a home of me own. See, I am a part of the family, as it were. Oh, and it's a lucky household what has a cricket on their hearth. And indeed, I am good luck. For if it hadn't been for Cricket Crockett here, why, there wouldn't be no blinking family. I'll tell you how it all began. Long time ago it was. Springtime, if I remember correct. Oh, I was some cracking cricket, I can tell you. Ready to take on the world, I was. I was looking for a proper family to adopt. But all of a sudden, I spies about the happiest house I'd ever seen. And a toy shop, too. I'll return in a little while. Here now, here now, you watch it. What? It's a cricket. Here now, you just watch it. I am very fragile. There, there, I mean you no harm. Why, I've heard that you crickets bring good luck with you. How about staying with us for a while? Come on now, just go inside and make yourself at home. Uh, if you've a mind to. Oh, well, uh... Oh, it's... Not a very exciting place, just me and my daughter, and, and of course, the toys. Uh, sir, I'd be delighted. Crockett's the name. Cricket Crockett. I'm Caleb Plummer. We'll work out the arrangements later, after I deliver these toys. Ta-ta. I suppose I had never seen a happier room. And there, in the corner, 
just the nicest little hearth you could ever hope for. Perfect. <laughs> Here now, what's this? Oh, Edward, I, I shouldn't. No, no, Bertha. You go right ahead and cry. But I don't want you to remember me like this. All, all teary. Any memory of you would be the most precious a man could carry. But I promised myself that I'd be brave and smile to the very end. <laughs> oh, why must you go away? I must serve out my enlistment. I must go to sea tomorrow. For two years? It's just not fair. Darling. I'm a commissioned officer in the Royal Navy, and... Oh, I hate that commission, and I hate that uniform, and I hate the Royal Navy. Bertha! Oh, no, I don't. Really. I'm sorry. I'll release you from your promise, if you want. Oh, no! Oh, Edward! I, I couldn't help myself. See, that, that's the way it is with us crickets. We get involved. My darling, you will be here when I return. Promise. Oh, Edward. I love you so. Don't give your love away. Wait for me, I will come back to you. And we'll have a thousand days of May. Don't give your love I wish I could do more than say Don't give your love away My longest day will be when I remember today And I'll wonder if you'll be there If the years haven't touched us one way Don't give your love away Well, the time passed right quick. Oh, I suppose it always does when you're busy. Ooh, and busy we was. Christmas was getting nearer and nearer. Two tacks, Cricket. Two tacks on their way. More red paint, Crockett, if you please. Hmm. Make it smiling red. Smiling red you want, smiling red you get. How's that, love? Ooh, divine. The perfect color for a smile. I suppose I'm being extravagant with the paint. But no child wants a doll who can't smile. Now, now, what's this? Was that a tear that I saw, Bertha? Now, you shouldn't get yourself all unhappy and teary over thinking about your young man. It's been a year and a half since Edward went away, and, and well, sometimes when I think about him, I smile and cry because I'm happy. If a tear falls when you're smiling, and you're still gay inside Then it means that you found a happiness Your tears can never hide Smiles go with tears Smiles go with tears Sometimes when you're happiest Smiles go with tears When you haven't seen a loved one And he suddenly even though you try to control yourself, you'll never hide the tears. Smiles go with tears. Smiles. 
Brown or black or sky blue pink? 